Hello, this is Ray, the Wandering Asian. Recently, I took a trip to the National Museum of the U.S. Air Force near Dayton, Ohio. Glider, and they knew they'd have to go someplace that had more of a prevailing wind than they have that we have here in Dayton. So they put, picked Kitty Hawk, North Carolina. Well, they went to Kitty Hawk and did some trials, and they were a little disappointed. They had a lot more success in 1901 uh, with their new design, and uh, uh, they kept improving on that. And when they come back in 1902, they felt they were ready to add time. In that period, they kind of discontinued their experiments altogether. Uh, when they were granted patents, they put the airplane, kind of put it on the market per se. They took it to Europe, did trials in Europe. The Europeans had showed a lot more interest than the, uh, our own government. Uh, of course, when the Europeans started to show an interest, our government also started to show an interest. To make a long story short, in 1907, fall 1907, early 1908, the government signed a contract for the first Wright military flyer. And this is a replica of that airplane. Same pictures, the world won't have with a scarf around their neck. Part of the purpose of that scarf is to cut it across their mouth and nose, they wouldn't have guessed all that cat's The leg up, learned to fly after he got to Europe, and on to become the leading American agent, 26 kill. Now, Rickenbacker survived the war. After the war, he uh, was involved in starting a couple airlines. He ended up a speedway for a number of years. Actually built an automobile, the Rickenbacker automobile. You ever heard of it? I have a mistake one night. One of the German bombers dropped the bomb on one. The next night, the British bombers were out for German bombers. Hitler changed tactics. He started off with the only bombing going to their car. He started bombing the cities. By July, they rolled over into the Army Air Force. So they were only existed for about a year. They only operated for about six months. Uh, they had a tremendous kill ratio. Now, well, none of our airplanes have the range to get from any of our bases to Japan. So the Navy lieutenant came up with the idea of taking a B-25 putting on an aircraft. Now this is an airplane that usually uses about a four three or 4,000 foot runway. An aircraft carrier is 400 foot. And load them on a new aircraft carrier that just has horn. As they're loading the airplanes, they realize there's only room for 16. So they take the 16 best B-25, take all 20 crews so they have to back up the and this is going to be a two-part mission. Part one, they're going to get within about 150 miles from Japan and launch the airplanes. Now, you cannot land one of these on territory. You might go to China and turn them over to Chennault. Okay, as they're leaving California, though, they're told, all we have left is our carrier. We can't get the aircraft. 
bothered ahead of time. I'll pick one of three choices. Fly the B-25 back to friendly base, go on with the mission, or jump over the side. Because the aircraft carrier is defended by the small planes that keep below deck. You can't bring those up when you got these B-25. The decision was made to go ahead with the race. No, he did not have enough fuel to get there and back. Or get there and get to a safe cable. Uh, all planes, all 16 planes launched. All 16 planes did hit their target. Uh, one plane diverted and landed in Russia. The other 15 crews bailed out or crash landed along the Chinese coast, which was occupied by Japan. With the help of the Chinese villages, along where they went down, Okay, now I'm going to step in and talk about the mission. Now, Bob Gordon was in the power. And uh, him and his crew did their training here in the United States with this airplane. Uh, when they were activated, they flew up the hangar, flew their mission. And the way the plane got its name is uh, during their training, uh, the crew went to see a movie called the Memphis Bell. It was about a riverboat camber. Uh, I think John Wayne is the star of it. You know, it's just a film trip once And by this time, most of the Japanese cities have been destroyed. We're going from island to island. The next step is the actual invasion of the Japanese home, which was scheduled to start in November. Well, during this conference, it was in July, and that's about the time they tested the first bomb in New Mexico, and it was deemed a success. At that point in time, the Japanese were asked to surrender. They kept back in. They did not respond. And that was the only game dropped that ball. Again, the Japanese were asked to surrender, and again, they, they, they chose not to. So three days later, this airplane dropped the bomb on Nagasaki. Uh, this actually was a backup. Uh, the plane that was actually designated for that mission was the Great Artis, which had been the camera ship for the first big call of the weather forecast and so forth. So they used the backup plane for that. Now, what the Japanese didn't know, we only had the three atomic bombs. It was going to be many months before we developed another one. So if they would not have surrendered at that point in time, we would have had an invasion.
enough to actually land and take off the plane. So they'll take the plane off, get it a few thousand feet in the air, and literally turn control of that mission over to a crew anywhere else in the world, predominantly here in the United States. Many of them are based in, uh, in uh, Nevada, but there's many are based at uh, small uh, national, Air National Guard units around the country, believe it or not. take over South Korea. Of course, the United States had brought its forces home. We demobilized after the war. We had very little forces left in the Pacific. And uh, uh, the, course, the North Koreans pretty much all, almost took over the entire uh, South Korean peninsula. And one of the ways that they weren't able to take over, though, is one force that the United States was able to rapidly return to help out the cause was its air force. You may have seen pictures of World War II airplanes, probably. It would have been post June 1944, and they called them invasion strikes. <laughs> now, later on, they actually, they actually changed it to a bright yellow marker on this photo order to make it even. We've been down this road before, yeah Singing better melodies used to hold back I used to think that we were perfect Now we're trapped beneath the surface Of the feeling of our love too far to go back There are hundreds of these missile fights in those two cities that would fire with a band. Also, our pilots would be battling the MiGs and if the MiGs got in trouble, they would literally just turn north and our pilots could not fly within 50 miles of the border of China. How long for Hanoi. And, uh, these men would either tap on the walls or sometimes they would be on a detail sweeping the yard and they would literally be sweeping in a code. And they, they would be able to establish, okay, well, who's the most senior man in the camp? And you know, that man can then send out policies and guidelines. I can't let go of your love 